Okay. I like it. So good to see you. Nice to so see you. tell me a little bit about uh, who you are and what you are doing. So my name is Sydney Richland. I'm a CEO of Non Fungible Art. Yeah. Uh, we we're here showing some of our collections. So we're showing our Steve Kaufman collection. Um, as I mentioned, Steve Kaufman was an understudy of Andy Warhol, yeah. and we have the largest collection of physical paintings that we're connecting to NFTs. So uh -huh. uh, it's really about Phi Digital. So the utility behind the actual NFT is a painting. So you can uh -huh. own a physical good of this painting. Okay. The project name is Non Fungible Art. The company. The company, company, the company name. Non okay. Art. Uh, that's our Steve Kaufman collection. It's uh -huh. a it's a 3D anaglyph collection. And then we're showing a couple other collections. We're showing our Homies collection, which is our Crypto Homies. Mm -hmm. And we're showing our Snoop Buds and our, our Con Art and Slash Pass for, NF, for an yeah. NFA. Yeah. Earlier this day, I was just passing by and I see this one with Van Gogh, right? Yeah. So how this just came up to, to this painting or they like to share more about the background story? Yeah. So Steve Kaufman loved Van Gogh. And so when he was creating this artwork, he did a lot of punk rock type of pieces. Oh. So he always liked to try to put his, his people he loved in unique situations. Okay. So that's, that's one of his famous pieces. It's traveled all over the world. Okay. Um, and now someone can actually own it. Okay. Where is your company based here? So we're in Los Angeles, okay. uh, which, is, which is great for us because obviously we have connection with all the artists and, and what's going on in the streets. Personally, I also believe that Los Angeles could be the potential NFT hub in the future because here lots of do lo, do have lots of IPs like celebrities, uh, QLs, right? Everything like related to sport, even NFT like sports stars, right? Over here. So, how you see the connection, like the IP connected with your project, or um, furthermore with a metaverse space? So, I, I think IP is crucial for the future of NFT. So, you know, we've spent a lot of time the last year creating our own IP, but also signing deals with the homies, a 30 year brand, or with Snoop Dogg, or with Slash from Guns N' Roses, or uh, Ralph Sampson from the Houston Rockets. So, we're big proponents of, of IP, and I think that's going to legitimize the NFT world, right? Especially if you connect the artists and this IP together, uh, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to really resonate with a large amount of people, especially when it comes to collecting. And, I, and you mentioned the metaverse, I think that IP in the metaverse is going to be key. So for us, we're, we're creating lots of products around our characters, whether it's digital wearables for kickwear or con art or even stuff for homies, um, which will all be featured in the metaverse. Thanks very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good day. You too. Day.